Happy early release day. Woo the Browns. These hit the shop Meet tomorrow the on Wednesday. Today we're gonna play with pies. Who's ready for that? Don't yeah. miss in the shop sticky mats for the Misty Stamping Oh, did we tool. get new sticky we did. mats? So these were brand new in February mm -hmm. and we put them in the shop and they sold out in about an hour. They arrived last night oh. here at the clubhouse and they are in, in the shop. We get a set of three and these go into your Misty and help with positioning and it's, you know, tacky so your paper won't move around. I also like it because... The way I like to craft, a lot of times I like to do my die cutting first and then stamp on top of it. And when I have all of these little pieces around all over my desk, some kind, sometimes it's kind of messy, it's annoying, it's disorganized. You don't know what's what. I don't know what's what. And then when I put them on my sticky mat and then I can, you know, move them around my table and they don't go anywhere. So I like that use for it. These are the new browns. So buttercream, spiced, macchiato, s'mores, and cargo. To go cup reference swatches. Yeah, so cute. So light neutrals. We have buttercream and sandcastle. Mid color, mid range, mid shade neutrals over coffee, macchiato, and spiced. And then the darker neutrals are icing on the cake, cargo, and s'mores. I just wanted to dive in and start making pies and show you, showing you how to use all of these products together. Love it. So let's um, let's just start playing. So you can stamp the crust, and then you can stamp the, mm, let's do a chocolate pie. Yeah, it can let's be. Let's do this. chocolate. Hmm? Pick a filling. My grandmother's chocolate chest pie was one of my favorite things in the world. Mine doesn't taste like hers, even though we have her recipe and it makes me sad. Here is a pie using the stamps with uh, no dyes. We have the solid center pie filling and then we also have the pie filling that has a little whipped cream dollop on it let's okay. play with that guy just a reminder when you have a brand new stamp that's never been used before when you ink and then stamp you may get a little bit of a splotchy look if that happens just take your stamp and rub it on scratch paper and then stamp and you should get a better image if you're still because sometimes large areas with stamps Sometimes they're a little trickier to get inked up and stamped, so that's when your Misty comes in handy too. So we're gonna do buttercream. Or ice. let's try icing on the cake. Oh, that is cute. Ooh. Okay, super cute. So on this guy, yes. you can use it like that. You can put a little die cut dollop of, oh, that is cute. I think I'm probably gonna have Erica die cut those while I'm horsing around with other things. Horsing around? What? <laughs> just, she's just in here horsing, horsing around. around. <laughs> you can also do a couple little leaves on there. Oh yes, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, like I've never done this before. <laughs> it's always like that, you guys. So, Erica, would you like to die cut these? <laughs> What's next? <laughs> this step is so fun. I think you need to make like a lattice pie. Okay, so I want to show you how I how I did those guys there. Let's get this guy and that guy. Let's use these two: buttercream and spice. <laughs> then I'm gonna take a little ink blending tool, and I'm just gonna dab on a little shading around the edge <laughs> oh my goodness how cute is that so when we started this video right before we went live I told Erica I might not even make a whole card and I'm gonna be honest with you guys sometimes I get worried if I don't have a plan if I'm gonna come up with a card that I don't like sometimes I do that uh, and then I'm live and I'm struggling and it just doesn't go well. So I said to her, I'm just going to stamp the pies and then I'll show them. We have so many card samples with the pies. So I don't know if I have to really make a card, but I'm getting really excited right now. So you're going to make a card. We're going to be like, card. Oh, card making is about to happen. Here's another pie. There's the outer crust. So this is, this is going to be pretty easy because the stamp is a little bit bigger than the die. Your, your stamp's not clean. Okay. <laughs> well, 
let me get a little cleaner. Let's put a little Osher Clean on it. Well, I like that shade of <laughs> color you just got. So I did the buttercream on there first. I could, let me do spiced and go around the edge. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. I got excited. Yeah, because when you cook the pie, it browns up around the edges. Come on. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of buffing it out. I missed a spot right there, but uh -oh. it's fine because I could do different things. I could ink this back up, buff out, and then just stamp it right over again. Oh, that looks great. It's like a browned up pizza crust. I can take this leaf and I can cut it out of there, or I could take this guy and... Oh, cute. So this is the lattice die cut. I like having a slightly not totally even color with that, like using the brush. Because again, when you bake, the the crust changes colors in different yeah. places. I so love this it. one is a chocolate pie with buttercream crust in the lattice on top. And then what do you guys like better, a solid or kind of an ink blended look? I think this looks a little more organic. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And then we could go straight on top of here like that. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to glue that baby oh, together. Oh, yes. Well, maybe I'll do graham cracker with a little terracotta. Mm. So here's sandcastle. And then take terracotta. Now, this is basically a dirty blender pet or blending brush here. I've already been using it with spiced, so it's not going to be true terracotta, but that's okay because I'm not worried about something really precise and specific. Just want to get some color and shading on. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's reddish. Maybe I'll add a little spice as well. Oh, somebody wants to try to turn theirs into a pizza. Oh, I love it. And these hearts. You can <clears> stamp <throat> um, heart pepperonis on your pizza. <laughs> and if you did like that coloring, it almost looks like cheese. Oh. Oh, that's not in the frame. With red hearts? Yes. Okay. Somebody needs to try that. That's cute. Okay. So we're going to run this through the die cut machine. Heart of Ronies. And I will... <laughs> Assemble some. Oh, wait, drop the Now I want pizza. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you were saying you're not excited about your lunch. No, I literally have the makings of a ham sandwich, and that was all I was able to muster out of my pantry. Well, I'm not even sure you have full on meat. She said, I have ham and a piece of lettuce. Well, I do have some bread, <laughs> but it's not very exciting. These little cutoff hearts, you've got lots of different brown ones. They're like, I'm making a little pile of them. They're so precious. Look how cute these are. They are cute. You could use them for confetti in a shaker card. Now, would you put the leaves on top of a lattice pie? Yeah. You can make oh, them crust cute. colored or you can make them like Seriously. just cute like that. It's adorable. I like the color. Okay, so we'll take this guy. Oh. Then... You take another die cut circle and stamp rock and red on it, and then you have a cherry pie. Yes. Da, da, da. And then we can put this on this crust. How about that? Oh, that's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. I'll put these leaves on here because they're adorable. Yes, they are. And then I'm thinking, I, th I think I am heading in the direction of making a card, my friends. Okay. So I think I'm going to maybe add in some patterned paper. Yes. Okay. I love that pop of hot, that's hot tub, right? Yeah, the pop of hot tub. Thanks. I think that's a nice contrast for these very neutral colors on the pies. Definitely make sure you're checking out all we're going to send out. 
emails with inspiration and blog posts with inspiration. Our brand ambassadors post things on their social medias. I need some kind of layering dyes, some shapes. Ooh. What if we use Skyscape okay. or some of our banner dyes? I like the idea of a smaller focal point like Skyscape could provide. Let's see. That's what you meant, right? That's Skyscape. I did. I'm just wondering if it's too small for the three pies. Oh, well, they could go off the edge. That's you and I are thinking. We're on the same page. Oh, yeah. Okay. What if I do this as a layer? Is that going to be too much pattern? Never. All right. So let's cut this out of that okay. and this out of that. Okay. So I'm going to trim this layer down to four by five and a quarter. So it will be a quarter inch smaller than my layer. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then that goes on top. I love you very much. Sending a slice of thanks. You're the apple of my pie. Happy birthday, sweetie pie. Happy birthday, sweetie pie. So what do you guys think? Is this too much pattern going on? Will you die cut this again? Yes. And then I want to, I'm probably going to color it with hot tub. Okay. And we'll see what we like better. Okay. I'm going to do cargo for my sentiment. It's one thing I'm loving about these darker neutrals. They're great for sentiments. Just do a little direct to paper, very gently, so that you're careful not to tear your ink pad when you do this. Occasionally I get little tears on my ink pads. It does not affect the performance of your pad it's just one of those things with foam pads so just uh, we like to encourage everyone to just be gentle so do you like the hot tub or the polka dots hot tub or polka dots oh that's precious my favorite is cherry with a scoop of chocolate ice cream. Because I'm a big fan of chocolate and fruit. That's my favorite. Yeah. I'm thinking the polka dot, and I am intrigued. Daniel, this doesn't feel too white. What if I did, you know, how you want this like this? What if I just did a little smidge of this? Because it feels like a lot here to me, but then this doesn't feel right quite quite there to me either. I don't think you can go wrong, actually. No, oh, it's really good. I kind of like the cattywampus situation. There are so many options. We might end up doing two cards because you've got so many pies little, stamped and you've got so many little uh, pieces cut out. Mm, yeah. Just a strip? What do you think? I think I would center it up because... I think the plaid. I don't think you could go wrong anyway you decide when you're making your card, so you do you. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, that's cute. Here we go. I think those pies are darling. This is the Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice Paper Pack, which is part of the Pie Day Bundle, mm -hmm. which features the Pie Day Stamps and Dies, the Perfection Stencil, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice Patterned Paper, and the Mazatlan Sequins, which is what your card is missing. Mazatlan sequins. Ooh, I need some. Where do you at? Where do you at? Where do you at? Oh, this copper sequin is gorgeous. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. I like the side view card too. Let's pop a sentiment on that puppy and be done. This one? Yeah. Hi, love you very much. <laughs> I love you very much. Oh, and then you need to add one of these little baby do hearts. There's so many of them. I thought there was a pink one. Did I imagine the pink one? <laughs> little baby hearts and brushes. <laughs> Look what you did. I like that. Thanks. See, if you have extra pieces, from your first card, put those puppies together and you got a second one. We can't wait to see what you make. If you guys are out on social media, on your Instagram, 
um, definitely tag Catherine Pooler Designs at hashtag Catherine Pooler Designs um, when you make your creation so we can see what you made. So you add that hashtag and then we see it because we follow that hashtag. Mm -hmm. And we go, look at what you made. Look at what you made. Look at your beautiful creation. Little brown hearts. Adorable. Oh, and we were going to show the, oh my gosh, what a mess we've made. We always make a mess. Da, da, da. There are my Yay. Uh, I probably should talk about this guy. My recommendation for stamping this is oh, die cut to first. die cut first okay. and then stamp or stamp one piece die cut and then stamp the other piece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I would stamp the top, line it up and die yeah. cut it, and then the bottom because the bottom is more square edges, so it'd be easier to line that part up. I really favorite. like this oh. with this. That was kind of my favorite, buttercream and spice. Stamp it right on top, and then if you want to add some shading down along the bottom, or you could do <laughs> along the top. You know what? Red bottom. Do you know what would be another cool thing to do? Tommy's bottom. Oh, that looks amazing. That's cute. Uh, Lake Crusade does a color similar to that. So you could definitely have a pie plate in any color, really. If you did the pie plate <gasps> in um, these metals, yeah, that would be so cool. Our Wow Embossing Trio Coffee with Catherine, Spice Latte, Cream on Top, and Macchiato. Those were created by Wow to go with this release. We're so excited about them. And then we also have Cargo. Cargo's right here. This is Cargo Embossing Powder over Cargo Ink. And this is Cargo over White. Macchiato Ink. Macchiato Embossing Powder. Macchiato embossing powder over white. Same here and same here. Lisa just gave me an idea. She said that reminds her of a, one of her chicken pot pies, the one you just made. Oh. You could do a get well sentiment on there and put a little pot pie. Perfect. That would be cute. Perfect. A couple more samples. Christy Goulet and Lisa Harrell. Lisa. Christy. Lisa, mm -hmm. Christy, and Alina. So lots of great ideas. Can I have the lattice die cut? I think it's in that basket. This basket that your birthday present was in? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you want the crisscross applesauce? Yes, please. Crisscross applesauce is in the Harvest Festival bundle. And it is going to go with everything because it's super versatile. It's like a plaid cover plate. Mm -hmm. And I love the asymmetry of the layout because it just adds some interest. And you could center your other images asymmetrically or you can do them centered. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so I can put it in the middle here. I can put it off to the side. I can put it down on the bottom. I think I'm going middle. So cute. I don't think you can go wrong. There. Very, very simple, but super cute. Thank you so much for being here for all of these fun release festivities. All these products hit the shop on August 3rd. Stamp Nation members, you get to order now, so that's always very exciting. We thank you for being along on this journey with us. We love what we do. We love hanging out with you. We love creating fun things with and for you. So thank you for being here, and we will see you very soon. Have a great time. Bye, guys. <laughs>